Hi children. Today we learned multiplication. What is multiplication? It is repeated addition. We learned to do multiplication. Now let us learn to do word problem in multiplication. All right? It is same like the addition subtraction. We just had to be a little careful. Word problems in multiplication word problems in multiplication word problems in multiplication And this is the sign for multiplication. Now, I'll write the problem for you. We'll read together. Then we need to frame statements. And then we must keep in mind when we put into the margin how we do it. All right? Now, the first problem is a box has a box. Has. Five chocolates. So there is a box with five chocolates. If there are, if there are six such boxes, such boxes, how many chocolates are there? Six such chocolates. How many? How many chocolates are there? Are there all together? That is one problem. One more problem for you. Okay, another problem is one bench has one bench. One bench in one bench, four boys can sit. In one bench, four boys can sit. Alright? And if there are seven benches, if there are seven benches, how many boys are they all together? There are seven benches. How many? How many boys can sit? So what one bench has got? Four boys. If one bench in one bench four boys can sit. If there are seven benches, how many boys can sit all together? I have got two problems for you. Then first thing we need to do is to make the margin. And then we start. Okay. Now, what is the first? First of all, let's read the problem. A box has five chocolates. If there are six such boxes, how many chocolates are there altogether? First. The first statement is number of chocolate in one box. Number of 
chocolate in one box. Then number of boxes six. Therefore number of therefore number of chocolate or the total number of chocolates. So that's what we are going to do. Three statements. So the first statement we are going to write number of chocolates in one box. Good. Number of chocolates in one box. Number of chocolate in one box equal to how many? Five. Next, number of boxes. What the next statement? Number of Boxes. How many boxes are there? How many number of boxes? Six. What is the next one? Therefore, the total number of chocolates. Therefore, the total number of chocolates. How do you find? 5 into 6. Okay, that's it. Okay, 5 into 6. Now, so you're going to multiply. There are 5 chocolate in one box. That into, and you have 6 boxes. So, one box has 5, therefore, 6 boxes. 6 fives are. Okay, 6. Fives are 30. So what is the answer? There are 30 chocolates altogether. So your answer is answer 30 chocolates altogether. Now look, first read the question. A box, if a box has five chocolates and if there are six such boxes, how many chocolates are there altogether? So, number of chocolates in one box, five. Number of boxes, six. Number of boxes, six boxes. One box, five. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, 6 times 5. 5, 6 is a 30. So, what is your answer? There are 6 chocolates altogether. Now, the second sum. If, if in one bench, 4 boys can sit. One bench, 4 boys can sit. And if there are 7 benches, how many boys can sit altogether? One bench, four. How many benches are there? Seven. Okay. So now, what is the first statement? Number of boys in one bench. Number of boys sitting on one bench. What are that? Four. Number of boys sitting on one bench? Four. What is the total number of benches? Seven. So the next one is number of benches. Number of benches. So there are number of benches. How many? Seven. Now what are you asked to find out? How many boys can sit all together? There are seven benches. So, you are going to find out the, therefore, the total number of boys. How will you find the total number of boys? Four in one bench. So, four into seven. That you have to write. Four into seven. So, here what are you doing? Multiplying. You are multiplying 4 into 7. 
How many boys are there in one bench? Four. And how many benches are there? Seven benches. So one, if you say you have four in one bench, how many benches are there? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many benches are there? Seven. One bench, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, seven fours are, that's what you're doing. Okay? One bench, four boys. So there are seven benches. And didn't we learn multiplication is? Yes, addition, yes. One, four plus four, eight. Eight plus four, twelve. Twelve plus four, sixteen. Twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight. Four sevens are, or seven fours are, twenty-eight. Okay, so what are you doing? Multiplication is repeated addition. And uh, what did we get? 28. So what is your answer? There are 28 boys. So your answer is answer 28 boys are there sitting on 7 benches. Now here you have 5 chocolates in one box. How many chocolates in one box? 5 chocolates. How many boxes are there? Six. Okay. So we are trying to find out, okay, how many chocolates will be there? Oh, five in one box. So six boxes are there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, repeated addition is multiplication. Okay. Now let's all add and see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One box has got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. What is multiplication? It is repeated addition. So, here you have one box, 5 chocolate, you have one bench, 4 boys. All you need to do is, okay, how many bench? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Multiplication is repeated addition. One bench, 4 boys. Two benches, eight boys, and you go on. All right. So now we have learned today word problems in multiplication. How to do the statement? Then multiplication sign. Put the number correctly, and then multiply. Four seven sa twenty eight, or seven four sa twenty eight. Multiplication repeated addition. So four seven times, and you get the answer. All right.